ever wondered why certain places just feel terrifying? Like something is watching you. Or maybe you felt a shiver run down your spine, but there was no one there. <laughs> Welcome to the world of infrasound. Now this is gonna be some spooky stuff. Infrasound, sound frequencies so low that you can't hear them, but your body can feel them. And sometimes <laughs> that's enough to freak you out. So infrasound is the sound below 20 hertz. It's below what our ears can pick up. And this sound is all around us. Earthquakes, volcanoes, thunderstorms, even animals use it. But the real crazy thing about this sound, it can trigger feelings of fear. <laughs> Ever walked into a room and felt off? Well, it's not a ghost, but it's a sound you can't hear messing with your body. Imagine it's like your body is going like, hey, something's not right, but I can't put my finger on it. Or my ear. <laughs> hey, by the way, why do infrasound experts never get scared of ghosts? Because they always have low expectations. A lot of haunted places have a high level of infrasound. And some researchers think that that's the reason why people see ghosts. <laughs> the sound is messing with your brain. And then add a creaky floorboard or two. And suddenly you're running out of the room like Scooby-Doo. It's not just humans who feel infrasound. Animals like elephants can sense it miles away. It's like their natural disaster alarm system. <laughs> Elephants are like, hey, we gotta go. <laughs> Meanwhile, as humans, we stay in there and like, I wonder if it's gonna rain. <laughs> and speaking of rain, why did the thunder break up with the lightning? Because it found someone with better vibes. <laughs> Filmmakers and sound designers know the power of infrasound too. It's what tends you up when you're watching a horror movie without you even realizing it. That low rumble before the jump scare. <laughs> yep, that's infrasound working its magic. But we can use it in branding too. Imagine creating a sound that people can feel rather than hear. Now that's creative. Wanna do it? I'm in. Let's go. Have you ever wondered why don't vampires use infrasound to scare people? Because they prefer to suck at communication. <laughs> so next time you're alone in a dark room and you feel that chill, just remember, it might not be a ghost. It might be the sound you can't hear. Or maybe it is a ghost. Who knows? Stay safe from those sounds you can't hear.